Tailwheel flying. It's something that really made me fall in love with aviation all over again. It was awesome. I went up and I have so much more to learn, but my instructor taught me the basics and I'm signed off now and I can solo a tailwheel airplane. I ins encourage all uh, pilots to do this at some point because it's just truly a hoot and I've fallen in love with it. Can't wait to get back up again. Good, good, good. There she goes. And back on the throttle. Good job. Good job with the stick back. Good. I can just see the culvert. Yeah. That's the main issue. I see that. I think you're pretty good straight ahead. Great. Okay. Now you can go left and then right, just because there's a puddle right ahead of us. There okay. you go, perfect. And back right, you're good. Awesome. And for our run-up, let's go right over there into the grass. Okay, just in yep. that little section. Yep, just that little section, then we'll go back onto the runway. Yep, perfect. Line her up with the runway. We're good. Great. So uh, you'll do it just like the, uh, you know, just like we were flying the other. Um, once you can get down through here, see this berm? Actually, we'll just, we'll, we'll just let's just keep it right on the macadam. That's fine. Yep, you can just. Keep This might be the farthest thing you get from your jet careers okay. and, and you're flying. <laughs> Probably. Other than the angle of attack in terms of how it sits on the runner, I don't know. I don't think most sit like that. I don't either. They just sit high. <laughs> All right, so now let's go around this light, and they'll attack you out on the grass, save okay. our tires. Yep. All right, here we go. Yep, she wants to go. Alright, just a gentle left hand turn, then level it out, just uh, kind of fly up this valley. Okay. Perfect. Alright, level right there. Broken straw traffic, Super Cup 4886 Alpha. Base, runway 27. Broken straw. All right, come back a little on the power. Yep, carb heat can go in. Back on the power to like 1,300. 
The droop tips on this make it want to float quite a bit. All right. Keep coming back, keep coming back, a little bit more of the power. Right to about a thousand. Let's slip a little bit right here to decrease our airspeed. Nose up a touch. There we go, now you're at 70, ready to roll. All right. Plan it. Good. Hold it forward. Hold it. Right there. Good. Stay with it now. Good, good, good. You know, the tail will get heavy. Then just bring our this back smoothly and pin it the tail to the ground. Right there. Good. Now stay with it. Oh, yeah. All right. Let's get on the brakes. If we can make this turn right here to the left. Right there. Yep. Good job. That was nice. Thank you. Hold it right in. Keep holding it, keep holding it. Otherwise we'll pick up our airspeed. More left, aileron. Good. Okay, bleed it off now. Good job. Good. Start easing it back. Ease back, ease back on your yoke. Stick, stick back, stick back, stick back, stick back, stick back, stick back. There you go. Pin it now. Hold it all the way back. Nice. That's it. That was good. All right, let's try a soft field takeoff this time. So there's two ways to do this. The goal is to transfer the energy to the wings as soon as possible. Normal on full power, but we're going to try to get the, the plane off the ground right about 40 miles an hour. 40. And then the goal is to try to get it off and not let it bounce, but it's pretty tough to do. But So you're going to about 40, 43 miles an hour. You can probably get it off. You have to pull it off this time, then get it right back down to ground effect. Okay, so I keep it neutral. So you're going to go stick forward, just okay. like normal. Then you're going to pull it back, and then you got to come back but not too much or else you're going to sell right back onto the runway. Because okay. we're, we're basically flying in ground effect. We're, we're flying the airplane when it technically can't fly. All right. Yep. So, so pin it, bring yep. it forward, yep. then bring, bring it, it back, back and, and then find the sweet zone yeah. where you try to just hold it off right at 40 miles an hour. All right. And just off the ground and climb up to, you know, 70 if your airspeed, then climb out. All right. It's kind of fun. good. Here we go. There we go. Uh, so this is performance flying, so we're right on the power curve. We're not behind it yet, but we're close. Okay. All right, bring it back to 55, yep. Hold your nose up. Yep, good. There you go, now add power. There you go, now hold that approach. Your aim point is the displaced threshold. Okay. There you go, use your power to control altitude, your pitch to control airspeed. Pitch up. There you go. There's your 55. Good job. Pain in the butt when you can't see where you're going, but yep. this is how we do it. Okay. Good job. Yep. You can dip the nose just a touch to get a look, but then... Okay. There you go. Good job. This is it. Real good. Real good. Start to add a touch of power. Yep. Stick back, stick back, stick back, stick back. Good. There you go. Stay with it. Good job. All right, this time on takeoff, we're going to do a short field. Sure. So this one's uh, easier to do um, if it's a short dry field. And uh, basically, you're just going to get it up on the mains, pin it till 60, and then once you hit 60, now it'll just want to fly. It's been wanting to fly since 45, so you're just going to climb out at 60, so that's your VX. So you're just going to hold it down till 60 on the mains. It's going to want to fly, but you're going to keep it on the ground, and then you're going to uh, fly out at 60, uh, 60, and then you can transition to 65. Okay. You're pinning it. Yeah. So as those trees are coming, you're keeping it down. And, and it's like, uh, what am I doing? But you have to do that because otherwise you can't climb at your VX. 
Ready? So if it's short and soft, that's when it is really hard because then you've got to do what we did earlier, basically, but you keep it in ground effect until you're at basically 65, and then you climb out like an angel. Uh, it's not a, it's, it's not a, a side attitude you're used to in a 172, but that's how you're going to get over something short. All righty. And it won't stall if you hold it at 60.